Hi guys, what's up? It's AppSmart101 here, and in today's video I have an app review for you of Monopoly Millionaire. But before we start with this app review, I just want to let you guys know to please follow me on Twitter. Links in the description. Also be sure to check on my website, theappexpert.com, to see the full review of Monopoly Millionaire. As well as please subscribe to me here on YouTube. Click that yellow button above this video that says subscribe. That will keep you notified of when I upload new videos here on YouTube. Alright guys, without further ado, we'll get you under the app review of Monopoly Millionaire. Alright, so here in the main menu we have a few different options. Play Now, Wi-Fi Game, Stats, and Options. Basically, we can play a game over Wi-Fi as you see here. We can host the game or join a game over Wi-Fi. That's a pretty cool option to this game. We'll just play now though. Okay, so you can see here's our different characters. We can choose from Human, Car, and then uh, Computer and Boat. That's not the thing. Sorry about that. We're the human here. Here's the computer. We get to pick the human and computer characters. So for the human, I want to be, let's see, I'll be the airplane. They can be the bike. Okay, you can see here you choose the difficulty. Easy, medium, or hard. We'll just do medium though. Uh, you can see here your goal is, uh, you can see how many uh, million you want to win. Basically how this game works is you, you want to get to a million to win based on whether you choose you want to get to one million to win or two million is based on personal preference here whatever you set it to I'll just do one million though I won't make you watch this whole game though because it will take quite a while for the whole game to be played through but I will play through some of the game and show you how it works okay so basically the first 10 million wins this is how this game works I uh Okay, so I'm the airplane here. You can see I just rolled 4. This game's a lot different than the other Monopoly games that you're used to. Basically, you want to get to a million and not run your opponent broke like in the other ones that you wanted to use. So you can see here swap a property card with the player of your choice. It won't be a complete set. So that's basically what I just got there. Okay, and then I'll be able to purchase this property. My tactic is I purchase the most property I can forward, and then in the end, I'll end up trading with other people for better property, and that's how I'll come to the win. So you can see you roll for both your opponent and you. It's not computer-generated. Okay, so you can see we just landed on Castle View. We'll purchase it here. The auction's still in this game, so don't think just as I haven't showed you the auction yet, it's not in here. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So you can see here, uh, basically, I you also have the option ability. If I didn't want to purchase it for fifty-five thousand, I could say that, and then we'll go into auction here, where they'll say their bid, your computer, thirty-seven thousand's his. If I want to bid more, the actual volume on this value on this was uh, fifty-five, so I'll bet forty. We'll see if he goes over that. Yes, he did go to 46. You can run your opponents broke this way too to try and win the game because your whole objective is to get to 1 million. We'll just do 50. We'll see if this gets him. I don't know, and he's really wanting this property. So you can see here I'm running him out of money. If he goes any higher than this, man. Wow. He must really want this property. And now I'm going to say pass. And then I just ran him through that property. He just bought it at a higher price than what it was set for. So that's basically skill. This game's uh, pretty much skill involved. You still pass go like you always would. It's just a different board than what you're used to. So 
So you can see I just won a free house. This is uh, my personal how I do this is I like to buy the really expensive properties and then build houses on those and then when they land on those they'll lose a bunch of money, I'll gain a bunch of money and then that will basically lead me to the win of the game. So as you get through uh, you can decide that if you want to up upgrade your card as I'll show you in a few seconds. So before I pass go, will ask me here. Okay, so it says, do I up, want to upgrade my mover? What upgrading allows you to do is it costs money to upgrade your mover, but what that allows you to do is collect more money when you pass go. So you can see here, is the first upgrade it allows you 150,000, then 200,000, and then 250. So now I went from only getting 150 to 200. So it does pay for itself every time you pass go. So I think it's personally worth it. So this is basically Monopoly Millionaire. You just want to run your opponent's dry of money. And you want to get to a million by selling off your properties. Auctioning them off. Basically the Monopoly we're used to except in higher value terms. As well as you're not trying this time around exactly to run your opponent to zero dollars. You want to get a million before they do. Overall, I give Monopoly Millionaire 3 stars out of 5. I wouldn't upgrade if you already have another Monopoly game for your iPhone or iDevice. Is it's not worth it, I don't personally think, just to get a million dollars in this thing. I definitely don't think it's worth it. It's definitely not that great of a game. So I recommend you stick with your other Monopoly games and save your money for a better application. Please follow me on Twitter for updates, as well as check my website for all the app reviews. As well as be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube for more app reviews. Click that yellow button above this video that says subscribe to do so. It's free. All you have to have is an account on YouTube and it notifies you when I upload new videos such as this one.